Okay. All right. Good morning, everybody. Today good is the uh, Ein Zion. We left off at Ein Vavam and Vez. Oh. So we did the Mishnah yesterday. We're talking about Ammonia Moavi, okay. male and not female. Um, and then we said Israel. So Minohani Mili Zuck to Gamara and Ein Vavam and Vez, four lines down on the uh, the wide lines. Anyone want a coffee? No, thank you. So, Don Mark Carla Pasek says, The Chiros show as David Yetzi the Kras Haplishti, Omar El Avner Sar Hatsava, Ben Mize Hanar Avner. So, when Shaul saw David go out to go ahead and greet the Plishti, so he said to Avner, he says, Who is his Nar? She says, I have no idea who it is. Uh, I'm not sure. So God says, I have no idea. I have no idea. I have no idea. I have no idea. So it says over there that he, he loved him. Shal loved him very much. I, he knew him before. He knew David Melech before this uh, encounter. So how did he say? I didn't know who he was. So rather, so what did he say there? El avu kasha kamasha. Right? Maybe he's asking about his father. In other words, who's his father? And he didn't know who his father was. His father wasn't famous. Right? It came during the day. He came with people. Right? He came with, with uh, many people and he was well known. So he was known who, who Yishai was. So what is he asking? Who, who is he? Who is David? Or who is his father? Shal, Shal, this is what Shal says. He, I know he comes from the family of uh, uh, of Yehuda. However, who does he descend from? Does he descend from Peretz, or does he descend from Zerach? Even Peretz has the Malkahavi. Shemel Peretz has the Derech. If he comes from Peretz, then he's destined to be king, right? Because it says over there that the king made a path. That's why he's called Peretz, right? And therefore, you can't we can't stop him. However, e miserachasi. However, he comes from Zerach. It just means chashiv bialma havi. It just means that he was chashiv bialma. In other words, that he was, uh, you know, that he just has, uh, you know, hatzlacha. So my time, uh, 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 so my time, uh, So why do you say so? Uh, uh, so he says over there. The chesiv pasuk says vayuba shol as David amado kinudaso, right? The chesiv bei b'shol. So it says there because he was wearing his his, his he, he he dressed him for his 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 clothing, right to go ahead and, and, and battle, right. And it says uh, it says midaso sibe b'shal says by So it says mi shichmo ma'ala gavoa mikola. Right, he was taller than all the people. So he saw that even though he was taller, so he saw that the the clothes fit him uh, through a miracle. So he saw that there was something special about uh, David. So you want to know what was this, you know, uh, uniqueness? What was the special? Right, I involved with base. So Amar le doig domi. So says doig. Says achiata mashil Allah v'imagon hula malchusim lav. Before you ask whether he's fit for for malchus or not, you know which you know which part of of, of Yehuda he comes from. Shalav im roi l'boy bekal im lav. Why don't you find out whether he's allowed to go ahead and marry a Jewish woman? Right, he's lavo bekal. Yeah. My time, uh, uh, right? So he said, the Kazi Merus right? Because he came from Rus, right? Who was uh, Hamoavia, right? And we know our Mishnah, right? We're talking about uh, Ammonia Moavi, right? Ammonia Moavi, the males, Rus, there's a female from there. So what about the females? Are the females good or not? So Amrle, so he says, uh, Amrle, Avner, so he said, so he says, uh, 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 Tanina. Says we learn Amoni below Amonis, Moavi below Moavis. So well, it says over there the men are not they are not good, but the, the women are okay, right? So mm-hmm. if a, a female marries a Jew, it should be okay. Mm-hmm. So according to you, so a mamzer, right, uh, is no good, but a mamzeris is, is is okay, right? So a mamzeris should be able to to go ahead and marry a Jew, and the kids should be fine. It doesn't work that way. So he says, no, mamzer k'siv mumzar. Mumzar means that there, there, there's a mum in all of them, right? So I, mitzvah v'loi mitzvah. What are mitzvah v'loi mitzvah? It says mitzvah is, is, is forbidden, so not mitzvah. So it says, shani hacha, over here is different. The Bifarish time of the Quran. The Pasuk says, avdova sheh lo'ikidmo eschem v'lechem v'mayim. 
right? So it says, right? It says, no, because over there, because they didn't come out and greet you. So the men are supposed to come out and not the women. So therefore, only the men are banned and not, uh, and not the women. But even nonetheless, they should have still come out. The men should agree to the men, and the women should agree to the women. In other words, the women should still be punished, i.e., Rus Hamovia should still be banned. So Ishtik, he was quiet. Miyad Emili Vayemir Amelch Shal Ata Ben Mizel. So he says over there, ask who is this Ha'elam, right? This this youth, this this lad. So Hasim Karele Naar, Hacha Karele Elam. Over there, calls him a Naar, and over here, calls him an Elam. So he says, what does it mean, uh, 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 Elam? It means that it was it's something like it was disappeared. The halacha, whether a Moabis is mutter or not, that disappeared. So say, Shal, the base of Medrash, go out and ask the base Medrash. So Shal, so Sa'avni went to the base Medrash and he asked, what's the halacha by a Moabi? So I'm relay, Amoni, Vla Amonis, Moabi, Vla Moabi. So the halacha is Amoni, Vla Moabi. So it's a male and a female. The females are okay. Shall uh, David Melch is okay? Turn the page. Right. So Ikshi le doe Kohani Kushyasa. So he asked about the Kash's eye over there. The, 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 the women should have also greeted them. Why didn't they come out and greet him? They really should be a pagan with the women too. So he says, Ikshi is quiet. So they want to go ahead and be machris and announce that he, he's, he does not come from good lineage, right? The David Melch can't, uh, you know, he's this Asla of the count. Miad. Uh, so it says over there, he says, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hear it. very good. So then, so then the Pasuk the says, the Amasa that Ish Ushmo Yisra Ha Yisraeli Ashir Ba El Abigail Bas Nachash. Steve, in another place, we're referring to. Right, the Amasa, who was the uh, son of, uh, uh, of Yisra of Israel, he calls him Ksiv Yasser Haishmaeli. First, he calls him Israeli, then Ishmaeli. What's Pshat? So, Marav Malamed Shahagir, excuse me, Shahigir Kharbo, Kharbo Kishma, the Amar. He put a, a sword in his hand, like uh, someone from Ishma, and he says, Komishena Shemeh Halacha Zoyid Kabacharev. Whoever doesn't follow this Halacha, that's uh, male, not female, are, only males are prohibited, not females. Right, I will go ahead and and, 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 and you know stab him with the sword. So kahu kanu base dino shall shmo ramasi amoni v'la amonis moavi v'la moavis. Right, I learned the fairish that male are forbidden to of a cow, but not the females. He was done exactly. So, he was done. Uh, so let's see. So, so let's see. Umi mehaven, and can we believe his stating halacha? So someone at the time who comes and wants to rule on a matter. If he says this halacha and then all of a sudden this, this case comes about. So, okay, he already taught this halacha, even though we don't know where it came from, you taught it. However, being love, but all of a sudden the maisa comes and he says, oh, this is the halacha and this maisa. And Shem we don't listen to him because perhaps, you know, he's no gay of a dover. Perhaps he, you know, he wants to rule differently. Right? He quoted Right, the base did of Shmuel, and Shmuel's all alive, so he could have just asked him. Base, you know, Shmuel Pasch in this way. If you don't believe me? Go ask him. Yeah. It wasn't like he, you know, said it anonymous. So therefore, you can believe him. We call Malcolm Kasha. Ah, it's a Kasha. We just said before, why weren't the women banned? So Akatigimo told Kavod the Bas Bas Melch Pnima. Right, that the cover of the Bas Melch Pnima. So in other words, that the women stay indoors. The women were were not supposed to go ahead and greet the even the the the, the women, and therefore the the uh, Moabis were not uh, banned. And Marav Amir also there. So he said, "Yemir Rabbi Yitzchak." Amir Kol Pasuk says, "Vayemir Rabbi Yisrael Yitzchak." He says, "Oh, we're sorry, your wife. Obviously, sorry wasn't going out to greet. She was in the house. So so you see over there more uh, uh, proof that he was in the house." That women stay in, and therefore they weren't punished from coming out and greeting. Therefore, only the male Amon and Moab were punished, and not the females of entering into the nation. Huh? Doesn't prove that Dayim won't go out. Well, they should. Nevertheless, it's it's uh, you know all, all women, the nature of women. The Mara says that actually it's Kitanai. It's about what's Kitanai. Whether it's just a Pazak, some Darsh Amoni below below Amonis Moabi below Moabis. Divi Rabbi Yehuda. That's Rabbi Yehuda. Rabbi Yehuda says the Pasuk. And Rabbi Shimon Aimer, Adova Shiloi Kidu Eschem Belech Vamayim 
Darkel shall eat the kadim chulei. So Rabbi Shimon says no. It says because the derech is to eat, uh, 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 you know, with with with, with the water and bread, and, uh, mm-hmm. and therefore only a man mm-hmm. should eat, and not the women, and therefore the women are not punished. So Darash Rabba my dechsev. So kol psukim or darshim pitachta lemaiseira. Right? You have uh, you have released my 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 straps, my 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 ropes. Right? So I'm a double lifting. Kolish baruch hu ribanu shayilam. Shnei ma'aseh shayolai pitachtem arus hamoavia v'nama hamonis. Right? We had you know I had two issues you know sort of holding me back, but now basically you have released my straps. You have uh, uh, matered. Uh, Rus Hamovia, who he came from, and Nam Amonis, who his uh, grandson also was a descendant from, so therefore the descendant actually from both those nations, and they were okay. And Dara Shrava Maizik, who was supposed to mean Rabbis Asista Ata Shem Eloke Niflo Secha Umeshko Secha Aleinu, right? That you have done much uh, for us. What, what, who's Aleinu? Elilo Namar Aleinu Malamisha Yerachavam Yeshe Vecheko Shadav, right? That his grandson. Right, Rechavim was sitting at his lab. alive, alecha, hello. Right, for for you and me, it was stated by this that we were permitted. In other words, that uh, no one can have any claims of, hey, you're, we're not even, you know, we shouldn't even be part of the station because the females mm-hmm. uh, uh, permitted was just the males from Ammon and Moab. And Darish Rava, Rava Darshan, my dechsev was the pasuk mean as a marty hine vasi megila sefer kasev alai. It says, behold, I was written in this Megillah Sefer, so Amar David, Ani Amarti, Ani Ayivazi. So, Velayadati, Shem Megillah Sefer, Kasuv Alai. It says, right, that, that he didn't know that he was written in the Sefer. So, Hasam Kasiv Hanim Sos, Hasam Kasiv, David, Avde, Veshemen, Kachi, Me Shakti. So, it says over there, both the Lashon of Matsasiv, right? And the Pasik says, let me see, the Pasik says, Right, uh, uh, referring to Lot, uh, right? So when Lot, right, the next morning, right, he came, he all of a sudden appeared. His uh, so his daughters, Rabbanosecha, so the Imtos, they appeared. So what does it mean? They appeared. In other words, they were found. They were found. In other words, it was predestined, right, that that Lot should be with his daughters to have children and come from there, Amor and Moab, because destined from them. Will will come David Amalek. So uh, David Amalek was was basically planned out from the time of Lot when he was saved uh, from uh, from Sodom. And Omar Ula. So now we're going to discuss this question. Omar Ula, Omar Rabbi Yechanan, Bas Ger Amoni, Ksheir Lekuhuno. Now remember, so you have a Ger Amoni, right? Someone who converted who is an Amoni. So his daughter is Ksheir Lekuhuno. Right, she can go ahead and marry us. Amalei Rava Bar Ula Ula. So come on, who is this like? E Rabbi Yehuda. If it's like Rabbi Yehuda, Hamar Basger Zacher Kibas Chalos Zacher. You said the daughter of a Ger is no different than the daughter of a Chalal, and the daughter of a Chalal is also the Kohen. So too is a Basger. V Rabbi Yisi Pshita Hamar Af Ger Shenasa Gyeras Bitok Kshel Lakuna. Even a Ger that marries a Gyeras, their daughter is Kshel Lakuna. Savachi Tema Kinach Dori Lavo Bakal. Maybe that was we're talking about the gay room, we're talking about those who are Mutal Lavo Bakal, other nations. Valhai, but when it comes to a uh, someone from Amon, Valhai, Dain Roy Lavo Bakal. Maybe I would say no, right? So Minale. So the other thing, Coin Gadol Me Almana, right? Maybe you can learn from Coin uh, Gadol and Almana. So Coin Gadol, he goes out and marries Almana and has a child. So that child is Asr Lakuna, mm-hmm. right? So maybe over here you can learn from there. So Malakoyin Gadol Manashachem Biasuk Beavera, right? That would be an Avera, right? As opposed to, let's say, an Ammoni and Ammonis who who converted together. There is no Avera there, so maybe the daughter would be Mutalakuna. You can learn from from uh, uh, Malakoyin Gadol. So Gemara says no. Cholo Yochiach a Cholal, right? Uh, uh, would uh, disprove that because by a Cholal, right, the Bia is not. Forbidden, right? The chalal is not asr lavolakal, right? There's no bia that's forbidden, right? So malach chalal shecheni siras bavera, but maybe the chalal is no good because he himself came from a forbidden union, or a chalal is basically a coin and a grusha, or a coin, right? Or a coin gold and almana, right? That's where a chalal is from. So maybe since he stemmed from an avera, right? That's the reason maybe why the, the you can't learn from there that the daughter be asr lekuna. So the kind of yochiach, so the kind of we didn't come from an avera. We'll disprove that. Bechazar din lari zek rizav lari zek rizav. Each one doesn't have their own chumra. Rather, atzar shavashavan. It was the atzar shavashavan. Shein barov kal ubito psula. 
that nevertheless, uh, they are not like others. They have unique halachas when it comes to the, the child of a, a mother coin gadol or a chalol. Uh, just like both them are um, that they are they're they're so such as Rav Hashem and Rav Kavanah like others. Vito Psula, the daughters are apostle Kuna. Afkan. So over here, we'll say that the daughter of an Amoni, Afkan Sheino Rav Kal, Vito Psula. So the Gemara says no. Malatzad Shav Shavahen Shachen Yesh Behen Sad Avera. There is some sort of Avera, right? Cholol he came from an Avera, and the Kohen Gadol he uh, he yes. he did the Avera, right? So there was an Avera, but it comes to a, a person of uh, Amon. Right, who went ahead and married an Ammonis, right? They're both converted, right? So maybe there, since there is no Avera there, so maybe their child will be a Balakuna. So Dilma be Ammoni Shinasa Basishokamar. Maybe we're talking about not an Ammoni that married an Ammonis. So in other words, that they both converted and they are married, they're permitted to marry one another. Rather, we're talking about a case of uh, an Ammoni who married a Bas Yisrael, right? He converted and married a Bas Yisrael. So Afal Gav the Visa be Avera, we took Shera. The even though it's an Avera, because once again, uh, so, uh, someone who came from Ammon is forbidden to marry a Bas Yisrael. So nevertheless, but maybe their daughter would be uh, Shera. So I'm like, ain't yet. And yes, that would be the case. The Chiyasa Ravin Omar, right? So he, Ravin says, Bas Ger Ammoni Ubas Mitzri Shein. Right? You have the daughter of a Ger Ammoni, mm-hmm. and a Mitzri Shani, right? In a second generation right. Mitzri uh, of a convert. In other words, no the, the, the parents converted. Now there's the second generation. And the second generation, um, uh, so the uh, second generation of Mitzri. So Bas Garamoni, who Bas Mitzri. So what's Allah there? Rabbi Yechon Omar Kshero. They are Mutter Amir Koin, Reish Lakish Omar Psul. So Rabbi Yechon says Kshero. We'll soon see the Shita of Rabbi Yechon. And Reish Lakish says Psul. Why do you have me coin Gadol the Almana? Because you remember I called you the Almana, as you just saw. Rabbi Yechon Amar Kshera. And Rabbi Yechon says she's Kshera le Kahuna. Where do we see Rabbi Yechon? Where's he learning that? The Tani Rabbi Zakai coming to Rabbi Yechon. So Rabbi Zakai top four Rabbi Yechon. It says, Kiim Basula Me'amav, Me'amav, excuse me, Yikach Isha. So it says over there, so this is, is there's going to be a back and forth between Rabbi Zakkai and Rabbi Yechanan. So he says, so when it comes to a, uh, by Kohen Gadol, he says a basula me'amav, right? So, me'amav, right? He has to go ahead and, and marry a basula, right? A virgin, right? From your nation, right? Me'amav, yikach yisha. Lo'avi giyaris mikana. So this comes to include a giyaris, mm-hmm. right? A woman who converted mikana, right? From her, uh, her, her lineage. In other words, her father and her mother are from the same nation. So even if they're both converts, that would be okay. That's what we're, we're including that case. Right? That's what says Me'amov, right? From his nation. I was, as long as the parents are from the same nation and they have a daughter, she is Mutter, right? She Right. So we're going to soon see that an Amon and Amonis, their daughter, would qualify as being from the same Mikana, right? From the same nation. Well, they can convert, but they have to marry each other. They, they, they can marry each other. They can't marry into the cow. Yeah, yeah. They can carry, but they, they, they can marry each other, but they can't marry a Basistrel or, or vice versa. Right? Uh, right. So he taught, I guess it was, uh, uh, he brought this Brysa. So it's a different one. Maybe it's a. Right. No, 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 because this, this is Rabbi Yechon was arguing with, uh, with Reish Lakish. So I think... Right, so I think I think it's a different Rabbi Zaga. I think it's... Uh, it's yeah, yeah, I think it's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's talking about the, the, the first of the Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, yeah. So he says... Um, so she said, I taught... Amav may... Uh, Amav, right? So, it, so it says Rabbi Yechon... To Reb Zaka, he says no. He says I learned another price that says Amav. What does Amav mean? His nation is Me Amav. Lahavi Basula Haba Mishne Amin. It could be a Basula even come from two different nations. Right? And you say right that uh, Giras has to be only from you know one nation. That the two of them has to be the same nations and not anymore. 
Umay shnei Ammonis. What does it mean? Two nations. Ile ma Ammonis shnei Ammonis. If we're talking about Ammonis married Ammonis, knows maybe that Umay. What does it mean? Shnei Ammonis. It's two nations. The Zecharim Asher and the Kevas Mutarim. Mutarus. That maybe the the Ammonis, right? Those that's considered like two nations. Why? Because it's different halach of status for the males and the females, right? So high new Giyaris Mekana. But that's the you know if we're talking about they're both from Ammon, isn't that a, a Giyaris from the same mm-hmm. right from the same people? Ella be Ammoni Shenasa Bas Yisrael. Rather referring to an Ammoni Shenasa who married a Bas Yisrael, and we see that Ammoni that married a Bas Yisrael, even though there was an Isser, Rabbi Yechonah teaches that the daughter was Mutter that Kohen God can go ahead and take her. That's considered to be a Msula Ma'ama. Uh, Right, so therefore he says even an Ammoni that married a Bas Yisrael, according to Rabbi Yechon, go ahead and uh, marry his mother Lekoyim. Vigad that means someone different version. Amar le Yani Shani. Some says, what did Rabbi Yechon respond? He says, Amav me Amav. What does it mean? Amav lahavi b'sul lahabam shnei Amim. Right, to include b'sul comes from two nations. What does that mean? O me Am sheyesh b'sul shnei Amim means in, in a nation that has two nations. And what is that? In other words, that that's referring to uh, uh, Amo. Right, right, uh, and, and you say that uh, you know Giyaris comes from two nations and, and not. So he holds that even if it's from a Bas Yisrael and an Ammoni, it would be Motu Lakuna. Lishna Bas Mitzri Sheni the Kshay Lakuna Minale, and over here the that which says that the Bas Mitzri Sheni is Kashal of Lakuna. We do not from so Vachi Tamed the Yelif Me Amoni Shnas of Bas Yisrael. If we know that we for the fact that Amoni who marries a Bas Yisrael is Motu Lakuna Malay Amoni Shnas of Bas Yisrael Shechei Nekevas Mutaras. Well, maybe you could say Amoni is different than a Mitzri because it, as we learned earlier, right, the, the Mitzri the, the the first two generations even the females are included, right? So maybe this is different. So mitzvah sheni shenasa mitzvah shni yechiach. Well, no. Well, if you have a mitzvah sheni that married a mitzvah sheni, right? That their child can will you know there uh, there is a mitzvah and their child's mitzvah the kuna. So now it's sheni shenasa mitzvah shni shechet and biyasa beveira. Well, their bia right their relation was not bia veira. Now is their mutter to marry a mitzvah sheni? It was married. It was mutter to marry a female mitzvah shni. Right. So amoni shenasa basel yechiach. So okay. So, so say an Ammoni that married a Bas Yisrael, even though there was an Isser. Nevertheless, we just taught that their daughter is Mutzel of Olukal, because it did. And never goes back mm-hmm. and forth. And therefore, you can learn from there that between those two cases, between mm-hmm. a Mitzri and a Mitzris, a Shani, right. and an Ammoni and a Bas Yisrael, that they're both those cases, their daughters are Mutzel le Kahuna, according to Rabbi Yechna. And Amar Rabbi Yisrael, Hainu the Shmile the Rabbi Huda. This is like that which we heard from Rabbi Huda. Amar Amav me Amav. What does it mean? Vladina my Kamar. I don't know what he taught. Now it must be referring to an Ammon who marries a uh, 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 who marries a uh, Bas Yisrael, even though it was Usher, right? Their daughter is Mutter Lakuna. Is ba- their daughter is Mutter Lakuna. So Kiyosu Rav Shmuel Bar Yehuda Amar. Now we have when Rav Shmuel Bar Yehuda says. This is what I taught. Or this This is what was taught. Rabbi Zaka taught before uh, when we taught earlier. So he says, Isha Amonis. So we have a couple lines that we're gonna go back and explain the lines. So it says, Isha Amonis Kshera. A female Amonis is Kshera Bina, her son, me Amoni, Pasal. Her son from an Amoni is Pasal. Bita be Amoni Kshera. But if she's an Ammoni and her daughter is an Ammoni, their daughter is Kshera. Mm-hmm. We're talking about Ammoni Ammoni who converted. Mm-hmm. But her daughter from an Ammoni is Psula. So what does that mean? Because we just said the daughter from an Ammoni is Kshera. He says, go out and, and, and you know teach this in the streets. You'll see that people are not going to like it and they're going to ask any. What does he mean? So my demar to isha amonis kshera. So okay, let's start from the beginning. That which is, what does it mean that he said a woman who is an amonis kshera? Because easy, the drush is amoni v'lo amonis, right? The drush is only an amoni is aser the kahal, but amonis is not. And then you learn from there bina me amoni pasul. Her son from amoni is pasul. To amoni who? Why? Because her son, right, from an amoni is also an amoni. So therefore, he is aser. Okay. We're, we're holding still. It makes sense. Ubita me Ammoni Kshera. And her daughter from an Ammoni, if she goes ahead, as Ammonis marries an Ammoni, they have a child. Their daughter's Kshera. So Lamai, 
If you're saying they both converted, but they're still from 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 Amoni. She's mother to marry him, but their their child is still uh, an Amoni. Rus, no, she married uh, Israel. No, but she converted, right? If she converted, yeah. then she's, I mean, she's Jewish, she's a Gioris, but she's still from the, from, from, from Amo. Right. Right. And her son would be Israel. Israel. Right. Even if she, even if she lives with Amon. Only when the, when, when the mother is, when the, when the, when the mother is not Jewish, when she's not a, a mm-hmm. Gioris, then it goes after the, uh, then, then it go- when she's not a Gioris, then it goes after what her, what she is. Right. Mm-hmm. Like if she's not Jewish, Right, then the child, then it goes after that. But over right. here, since she's Jewish. converted, right, so she's, right? Jewish. she's Jewish. So for Jewish about her. Right, they're they're Jewish, but they're still part of they're they're still but the lineage of Ammonis. Right, like the tenth tenth generation Ammoni is even though there's ten generations, they're all Jewish, but they're still exactly. Ammonis. Right. right now, so we say. So we say that the, her, her, her daughter from Amon is Kshera. So Elaine Lava Bakal, if you're talking about Lava Bakal, he the boy. So she's kosher, right? She can go ahead and, 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 and right, she's kosher. Amon is this kosher. So certainly, right, her daughter is kosher, right? So he the boy. So El Lakuna rather must be that if she marries an Amoni, right, that this, uh, the daughter is Lakuna, right? The daughters are good for Lakuna, just the boys are, are no good. We're only talking about money that's converted. About Bita Meamoni. But if the daughter was uh, a Bita Meamoni, but if the daughter is a Psula, so my Bita Meamoni, what does that mean? Her daughter is from, from Amoni Psula. Elam Amoni, Shinasi Amonis. If we're talking about Amoni that married an Amonis, Hainu Giaris Mikana. Right? That's what we said earlier, right? Referring to that's uh, people from the same nation. Right, Ella Amoni Shinasa Bas Yisrael. Rather, we're talking about an Amoni that married a Bas Yisrael, and therefore he, he, over here he's ruling that it's it's Aser Lakuna, right? So Amar and because of that, he said Puktani Labra, go out and teach that because I disagree. Because uh, even though, despite the fact that Amoni goes ahead and marries a Bas Yisrael, which is forbidden, nevertheless the daughter is Pasal uh, Lakuna. Let's just go, go a little further down. I just want to get to the uh, Taner Abana. A little, a little further down. So we had over there, back in the mission, the back of the mission says, Amoni below Mavis, just males are always us, sir, and females are always good. And then we said, okay, when it comes to Mitzri, it's third generation is Mutter. Mm-hmm. So what about the females? So Rabbi Shimon says, oh, no, no, it's, I have Xer Shabbat. If the females are Mutter, when the men are also forever, certainly when the men are Mutter for uh, the third generation, certainly the females are Mutter also immediately. So they, they want to know, was this your own Svara, your own Kavachomer, or was this a Masora you had? And he says, a Masora I had. Now, because he said, otherwise we have a Tshuva. We have a Kasha on that which you want, want to teach. So my Tshuva. So the Lord says, what was the Tshuva they could have asked? So Amma Rabbi Rechana Rabbi Yechan, Mishun Diklam Eimer, because it says, Arayis Yochichu. Because by Arias, by right, one's uh, granddaughter or grandson, right, Arias goes two generations, Midoraisa. So, and over there, it's not just the males, it's the males and the females. So you see that even something which is usher, right, until the third generation is males and females. So it goes, no, Malarais, and Kares. You can't really bring a Arias because you have a Kares involved. So Kares involved is more severe. Okay, so Mamzu Yechiach. So let's say Mamzer, there's no, when it comes to Mamzeris, right? There's no Kares there to marry a Mamzer. And nevertheless, it's males and females. So Mamzer, Shechen, in a Roy, Levo, Bekab, Elam. So no, Mamzer is also forever. It's not three generations, also forever. So Arayis, Echicho. So Arayis is only three generations. So Chazer, Adin, Lori, Zekri, Zev, Lori, Zekri, Zev. Each one does not have the, the, the Chum of the other. What's Hatzad, Shav, Hashem, Ahed? She has to, and both of them are Aser. But Echad Zechari Mechan the Kevas, both male and female, when it comes to Mamzerus, and also comes to Arias, right? Afani Avi Mitzri Umitzri Sotu Mitzri Mitzris, right? Sheyu Asurim Echad Zechari Mechan the So too, it should be Asur men, uh, males and females. So the Malatzal Shavahen Shachain Yesh Ben Sad Kares. Well, there's still a Kares, right? Whether the, the way the Mamzer was created. Right or the Arias itself to go ahead and marry uh, you know to, 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 to you know marry one's granddaughter right so there's still cars available. 
Rabbanan. And so the Rabbanan would say, no, they still don't learn that. They still learn that uh, it would be Asr, right? Um, so Mechol, the Chavi Asr. So they learn from a cholol who's a chavi asi. So it says over there that a kohen gadol should go ahead and marry a psula, and they learn that even in that case, it's just a chavi asi that can create a cholol. And when it comes to cholol, it's both male and female, and therefore both male and female would be usher, and like Rabbi Ezra ben Yaakov. And therefore, there's no tzad kares here, and nevertheless, it's male and female. So therefore, the rabbanon would argue that. Male and female mitzvahs is also usher. You can't say they're mutter like Rabbi Shimon says. Umay loki. And what does it mean when they said loki? So how can come late? The DD, according to me, says Rabbi Shimon, I don't like Rabbi Shimon Yaakov, so that's not Akasha. However, the DD, but according to you guys, it's Rabbi Shimon Yaakov. But according to you guys, holy like Rabbi Shimon Yaakov, who therefore could, could have a kasha and learn out that the uh, that the females right would also be uh, uh, usher. So therefore, halacha I'm telling you, uh, this is the halacha that I uh, that I learned out. And Tanya, Rabbi Shimon, halacha niyomer ve'ayv mikra misayemi. Right, not only that, but I also have a pasuk. It says banim. It says over there by banim by the mitzvah is banim v'lo banos. So therefore, it's only banim v'lo banos. That's what Rabbi Shimon taught. He used, not in addition to the, the halach and the masora, he also uh, used the pasuk when it says banim from Mitzrayim and banim v'lo banos. All right, we'll stop here. Shkayach, everybody. So tomorrow, Mr.